How the, how's it looking, Dave? It's looking good. Looking good. Huh? Looking good. <laughs> Maintenance day here at Placerville. We uh, we drove from Bakersfield to Placerville yesterday and kind of took it easy. Went and got some steak and had a good kind of relaxing night. So. Uh, Back to business today, doing maintenance on both cars. Uh, Dave's doing motor maintenance. So Dave pretty much takes care of motor maintenance, running the valves and um, whatever the motor needs, and then always takes care of all the fueling on the cars and plugging in all the data and stuff. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, doing some maintenance. I'm, uh, I didn't have any spare shocks or spring set up and we usually do that but we just kind of got done switching back to a different shock so i'm behind i don't have any spares set up so i'm gonna work on getting some spare shocks and stuff so just in case we crash then it's just bolt the corner on and go is it i want a double double with french fries in and out Burger. Oh yeah, the Perks of California. And uh, make sure you get me some Pedialyte. Well, got some rear springs all set up. Just gotta set it on the ground. <clears throat> and I am working on some front springs. Oh, whoops. It was magnetic. <clears throat> so, this was the set of springs that I had on the car, sh shocks and springs that I had on the car, and I didn't have any spares, so I went ahead and I found, this is my little drawer, you can see, those are rears, fronts. I went ahead and found some shocks that I needed, picked out some springs, some helper springs, so uh, pretty much you got You got a, this helper spring goes in there, but uh, <clears throat> I need to find the bottom collars. And ooh, right here. One more of those, and that will do it. We've been on the road, so things have been kind of moving around driving across the country. So we, those two, and then I just need to find a clip. Oh, sorry, I almost ran into you. How's it going on maintenance out there, Lacey? Good. 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 I forgot my blocks. Forgot your blocks. I forgot my blocks. I, I got blocks and I don't even really use uh, the rears at all. No, I need the six inch blocks. Oh, got you. Just checking stuff. Checking stuff. You're looking for a clip there, I am looking for a clip. Look, see, Lacey knows where everything is. No, she doesn't. Sometimes. Um, that's kind of an odd clip. I think that I just cut the ends off. Y yeah. Where you right. Because that's so difficult. Some people pull some on wrong. No, no, no. You're right. Most people don't even know there is a right and a wrong way to put this clip on. You can see it's it sits there or it sits there. And I will show you right now. And then these face downward. You push those in. And then you just pop it over like that and see when they're facing downwards they fit they sit flush on that angle there otherwise switch, switch them again so yeah csi shock tech tip from Fimez. so got some blocks and uh so you put the blocks underneath and that just gives you a ride height reference point you know depending on what you set it at oh man Oh, that was super tight. That's ah, a big doom buggy. That's nothing. Spindle slop. My my sprint car is so bad. Can't even tell. Not on the racetrack. All right. So these are loose, and uh, you just run this thing up and take the gap. And then that's pretty much set. Go ahead and lock and tighten that. The 
So now that I blocked it with this in it, I take and put the helper spring in there and then put this over or or back in there. And you can see it's got some it's got some uh, preload in it, a bunch of preload in it now. And then we'll put it back together, tighten everything up, and it'll be all ready to put back on the car for a spare, I should say. Okay, so I should add in, that is a helper spring, okay? And so the car rides on this spring here. But if if you push this thing down, which it's kind of hard to because that's a heavy spring, um, that is block right there. But so then that helper spring is, is just a second rate spring. It's like a, I don't know, 25 or 50 pound spring just to keep ultimately this this looseness of the uh, spring out because otherwise it would have that much gap it, and the spring would just be flopping around these shocks have a gas chamber in them so i just check the gas here make sure it's got at least 20 pounds and it does hey justin okay. how much gas should i have in the front shocks I mean, that's as little as possible. Okay. So I just checked all the gas pressure in these shocks. You put nitrogen um, through this gauge in there, you know, and it's like when the rod goes in the shock, it has to displace the oil that, you know, the rod is taken up. And so then it pushes that, that piston down into here. <clears throat> the gas pressure helps. So I'm told I don't build shocks. What you working on? Uh, turning knobs. Turning knobs. Sweet. That's what I'm. I get excited when you know people are turning knobs. I I seen Moles doesn't even have knobs. They don't even have knobs in Moles' car. He's just turning. He's just got to focus on the wheel. They're on the wheel. Yeah. Yes. This is gonna sound, this is gonna make sound old, but somebody New colors look good. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, because now you don't spin your tires. Look, there's Chet Krishner, the voice of uh, Team S TV a lot of times. Minus 12, okay. So, <laughs> I'm so funny. I, I like, I go in all the way and then I go out one turn here and one and a half there and i don't even know what the numbers are but that's what i do and it doesn't matter if it's a sprint car a midget a mini sprint a, a go-kart if it's got adjustables that's where i go that'll get me close that'll get these shot guys you know they, they they put a lot of rebound there and i don't always need that and the reason i don't like it is i think it makes the left front float more at a certain point rather than like so th so then it makes it wheelie more and just it, 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 yeah yeah exactly tech tips with Timez. hey did you see i've been putting your name in Timez tv stuff i did not no. well i've been putting this is the voice of uh Timez tv right i'm the voice he's the the announcer chad christner here i am again here you yeah. are yeah and here you are here and we're on a bakersfield yeah, I had a good run of Bakersfield. You whipped them. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah. I'm going to take my funny looking sunglasses off. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's get the sun behind us. The, uh, let's talk about Bakersfield. You were out over the cushion. You were the first one to find that. Maybe the only one to find that. I, How did that, was that intentional or did that just like? No, I was just, uh, I told myself, you know, if I don't just stand on the gas, Buddy's going to be there. And Buddy's probably four wheels above it, so. Uh, originally when I rolled out there, like I didn't adjust my car and so originally when I rolled out there, the track looked slick. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was like, well, the truck's rolled in the top, it looks like I'm gonna ah, try above it, you know? And my car was just kind of like sliding over the cushion nice and uh, I was just smashing the gas trying to win. You were like stupid fast up there. It, it was awesome to watch. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> it, it, was, was, it looked bold. It was fun, <laughs> it was fun. It made for some good Team STV. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, so we're just doing maintenance today and getting ready for another night with three nights in a row now. Yeah, yep. So hopefully I'm good here. You know, I, I hope I didn't uh, blow my wad early. I don't think you did. This is a track that seems conducive to good racing. Oh yeah. it's. It, it puts on some good shows. 
it puts man i lost my gopro in venice beach and it came back broke but at least it came back it's pretty stoked about that yeah it's amazing how all this body fits over these and everything fits so nice old danny ebert's longtime friend he used to race midgets himself uh built the body i don't see a sticker on here ebco there it is body is almost on it we're almost done but in and out just showed up so it's time to eat i'm i'm getting hangry because uh madeline took a long time no don't say that don't go there oh in and out burger so we're just getting this thing back on the ground the front i block uh to set the ride heights but on the back i haven't really found a good method for that so i just actually uh, measure it off the ground so gonna get these all set up <clears throat> got everything all back together Dave's working on fuel and Lacey what's she drilling on what are you doing down there well, the, the down here. oh he's got fancy I don't think I have those on my car no not yet the other one's low. No, 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 I don't need that. My car don't need that. Well, I'll just them up when your car can There you go, yeah. So that's the new, newer spikes. They have a slip tube on the on the frame there. And uh, you can see mine does not have that. But I got the coil, so I got a bunch of movement with my car. So I'm not trying to get any extra flex out of it. Justin um, actually cut the halo out of the top of his car because uh, he wanted it to work better so uh anything it takes man to go win races now i'm just like pushing i'm like i'm cheap come back from me you you are cheap even though i have to I'm give her cheap. all my monies it feels like it feels like it feels like i'm spending my money on my happy things which is tear offs to go racing <laughs> yes i think so that's what i owe you right yeah yes I think that's a wrap for maintenance day video couldn't video everything because i was trying to get some stuff done but uh, let's go check out the track before uh, i end this video on the mini bike well it's gonna be wet tonight some red clay so one of the really cool things about placerville speedway unique things i should say is right here and i don't know if you can see it much in the video but that is a pretty big like hill it starts i mean that's three foot tall and then by the second tire there it's uh every bit of six foot tall you know of a wall slope so you don't want to get and it, it, the bad thing is is it gets ledged up right here and um, it's easier to come off the bottom and so you, re you really have to run 10 tenths right here and if, if it gets curved up and you get tight right here um, you don't want to get shoved into this i think kt uh ktj got shoved into it a couple years ago you know guy come up off the bottom and just got turned up into him he was on the outside and he got moved up here but uh pretty cool little deal up in the hills here in uh northern california Hey, thanks for watching Team S TV. Uh, we're gonna post this on Friday, and then uh, you know, just kind of as a Team S TV garage thing, and then uh, the race will be coming on Monday as normal. So, thanks again for watching Team S TV. I'm out.